is up, and we are underway here in 2008. He's got two receivers to his right, one to the left. Pierman with him in the backfield. He's going to dump this one off into the flat. Completion. It's going to be taken by Coach. He's out of bounds. USC was a big, powerful, fast team. Johnson. They'll go to Johnson. Johnson tries his way through the middle. He's going to find the opening. Touchdown, USC is Stephon Johnson. Gets into the end zone and puts the Trojans out in front. With superior quarterback play today. Now it's McKnight, the deep man, behind Avila. Straight drop from Sanchez. Drops it off into the flat. Ball going to be caught by McKnight. He leads his way through traffic and dives into the end zone for another USC touchdown. That one from 10 yards out. Field position is the key thing in all football games and when you play a team that's in a league that USC is in the only chance is to play with advantageous field position we gave them far too many short fields to play for us to play against an offense that obviously was going to be very hard to stop coming after him he's going to go out of the shotgun again a pair of receivers to the right one left got time now that time elapses as he is absolutely clobbered at the 10 yard line they had a uh, different level of speed from practice, obviously, but I don't think that we were shocked or anything. Some plays were unfortunate, and uh, some plays we just had to pick up the tempo on. Upset high formation on fourth down and two. Hazleton, the man in motion. Pitch shot's going to go to McKnight. McKnight moving his way forward. Now he's going to cut it inside. He's going to the outside. That's going to go to the end zone, and that is C.J. Gable dancing into the end zone from 34 yards out on fourth down. We knew coming in that we were going to be a talented team. We knew it was going to be hard for us to beat them. And um, it was very difficult for us. But um, give all the credit to them. Their guys made plays when they had to. And we didn't make plays as a unit, so they deserved to win the game the way they did. He's got three receivers to his left. Simpson with him in the backfield. Here comes the blitz from USC. He's going to dump this one off. He makes the catch. What a throw. This one to the 44-yard line where it's hauled in by Maurice Covington. In the slot, it's Ogletree. He's going to throw to the far side. The big tight end makes the catch. John Phillips inside the 10-yard line. He was immediately hit. Well, Alex going to hand it off in a delay. Get to Simpson. Simpson room to run. He'll try it outside. Touchdown, Cavaliers. That was a great drive. I think they were looking in for the pass, and then we handed it off to Michael. He made shake and bake, made some plays. That's what he does. So but that was good. It was a good lift. It was definitely an opportunity. We uh, got some points on the board. We, we wanted to follow up with some more, but uh, that didn't happen. He sparked us up a little bit, but I mean, they, they were able to shut that down and, and continue their offense. And... So Virginia starting deep in their own end. Wallet takes a snap out of the shotgun, throws near side. Dangerous oh, pass, wow. but a tremendous catch play. by Jared Green. The redshirt freshman made a terrific catch on the near sideline. He made some nice plays today. That was a, an encouraging thing at that position. Um, what he's starting to do is to use his speed more. You know, he was a, um, he, he is one of the faster players that we've had here, but um, if he doesn't have a pedal to the floor all the time, then um, he doesn't play faster than, than other guys did. And he's starting to uh, understand the value of his speed and uh, definitely used it on a couple of those plays. Here's a hand up to Pierman. Pierman tries the left side. He's got an opening across the 30 to the 35. He's tripped up at the 40 yard line. A big burst of speed. They had some plays there, but it um, really wouldn't be right um, for, for, for my job down to for anybody to uh, say that anybody did well today. Be up to us as a team to. Uh, to decide what we're going to do with our experience, what we experienced here today, and see what we make out of it. Certainly, it was very challenging, and uh, well, we knew it was going to take a lot on our part to be able to pull this off. Uh, we could have uh, understood it a little bit differently if we had played better and lost, but to have played as poorly as we played and to have lost um, is not acceptable.